Some new details are adding to the mystery surrounding a missing passenger jet which disappeared between Malaysia and China. A woman who knows one of the co-pilots claims that he once invited her to ride inside of the cockpit. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Spencer has the latest developments. They were smoking and yes, they were posing for pictures, but I don't think it was a distraction. The story from a woman in Australia raises new questions about one of the co-pilots on missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Jonti Rose says she met the co-pilot two years ago. She says Farik Ab Hamid let two teenagers he had just met ride with him on the flight deck. She knows because she was one of them. A short while after taking our seat, uh, air hostess came to us and asked us if we would like to move into the cockpit, um, after which we did, and that's where we spent the flight. And Rose says it didn't seem out of the ordinary. It didn't feel like it was something new to them. The crew also seemed to be quite comfortable with it, so it felt to me like it was something that had possibly happened before. While illegal for U.S. carriers, such behavior isn't necessarily banned on international ones. Transportation officials say if true, though, it does show a sloppy attitude toward rules and safety. Sadly, it's not the first time I've heard of such a thing, though, and there have been at least two or three crashes caused by this very kind of behavior. Malaysia Airlines says it's shocked by the allegations and hasn't been able to confirm the story. The revelations, though, add another layer to the mystery surrounding Flight 370, raising further questions about the potential for pilot error. But as the search for Flight 370 continues, officials still aren't sure whether the cause might have been error, mechanical malfunction, hijacking, or maybe terrorism. Andrew Spencer, Eyewitness News.